Yeah, I know it's been a while and I'm sorry I've not uploaded a video. I've had comments, people want to know what's going on, where I've been, and um, yeah, so that's what this video is about and to show you my new location. Uh, first off, this is where I've spent most of my time uh, the past uh, several months. I've been in this workshop building and making stuff. Uh, if you have followed along on Instagram or Facebook, uh, you have seen some of the stuff that I've built. Uh, we got a laser that I showed you and talked about some of the items we've been making. But I've been doing a lot of woodworking and a lot of making uh, the handmade cutting boards out of uh, solid hardwoods. And I'll show you some pictures here of some of the different boards that I've made. We use a variation of different woods, uh, usually mostly walnut, cherry, and maple. And uh, then we throw in some you know, more exotic woods like African Paduke and uh, make some out of that. So I've been making a ton of cutting boards. Um, I say a ton, it, it seems like a ton to me at least. I actually started making cutting boards at the end of October and since the end of October I have made I think 53 cutting boards so yeah that's quite a few cutting boards for me at least so that's what I've been doing. I've been staying busy with that along with other woodworking projects and uh, yeah so it's kind of taken a turn. I still do the photography business but um, you know with, with COVID and everything the photography is really kind of taking a hit so I've kind of shifted gears and been putting more time um, here into the woodworking side of things, but uh, that's where I've been, but I've got a new location that I'm fixing to move to. I want to tell you about my wife, Stephanie. She actually quit her full-time job and she is working with me now. She does the business side of everything, deals with the customers, all the laser engraving stuff while I'm in the shop doing the woodworking. But um, I don't know if you've seen a, the studio tour of my photography studio, but where my photography studio is, in the very back of that is a large work area. It's like three times the size of this little workshop. Uh, so I'm gonna be moving from around 500 square foot to 1500 square foot and I'm excited about that so yeah I think I might as well take you uh, a few blocks through town and show you where my new studio is or excuse me I'll show you where my new workshop is uh, behind my old studio so yeah we are going to have the photography studio the laser engraving the woodworking all in one location now but before too long, I'm going to say goodbye to this little place, which is actually behind my parents' house. Um, they had this shop available and told me I could use it, so that's where I've been spending my time the past several months. So anyways, I'm going to have to say goodbye to this little place, but uh, yeah, I'm anxious to get into the new shop and uh, get that going. Uh, I'll show it to you there, and excuse me, it's a little bit chilly. We're in the middle of this uh, snowstorm that we've been having. Here in Arkansas, we don't have it as bad as Texas because we are a little more prepared for it than Texas was. So, um, yeah, but anyways, it's cold, so I've got my coat on, but how about we jump on over to the new shop and I'll let you see where it's at and kind of tell you kind of what my plans are for it. Let's go. Fortunately for me, I live in a small town, so uh, yeah, my studio is only about four blocks or so uh, from my parents' house which I also live nearby, so we can get around in this small town pretty easily right now. Our back streets are kind of cleared off now finally, but uh, there's still a lot of snow on the ground here. I think we got, I don't know, probably 10 or 11 inches. I'm not positive, but yeah, we got enough snow that I'm ready for it to be gone. Well, I pulled in here to my studio and I really hope that I'm not stuck because there's a lot of snow here in this parking lot. I do have a video on this channel of a tour of me showing off my studio. I'll leave that video down in the uh, description below, but yeah, this is where my photography studio is located. And in the very back part of the studio, we have a doorway now going back into the shop. So let's go check out the shop. And this is the shop, guys. It is just a large, empty space right now. There is a part of it that has a room built on over here, but as you'll probably see, the most of it is just uh, cinder block walls, um, and it 
looks like a basement, I'm sure to you, but it's not. Um, this is above ground. Concrete floor, cinder block walls. I don't have a drop down ceiling in here, so there's probably gonna be a lot of echo. I apologize for that. But uh, this is pretty much it. And we haven't really done anything here besides just clean out some stuff that had been stored in here. So I'm gonna be open to, uh, to, to showing you and sharing with you our progress. If you wanna see that, just let me know. But yeah, we are going to be doing some electrical work in here. I think there's only two outlets in the whole place. Uh, one is in the ceiling and one is on this post that is up over here. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I've got someone that's gonna be coming and doing some electrical work, running some outlets, getting that ready for me. And uh, we're gonna paint the walls white, I believe. Uh, even this uh, added on part with the paneling. I think I'm just gonna paint everything white. Uh, that way it looks brighter, it looks cleaner. We have to hang some more lighting. I will get some better lighting back here. Uh, if I shoot videos back here, but I think that by having this place here, I should be able to shoot some more videos for you guys. And isn't that just kind of the coolest looking door? Check that out. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a little dungeon door almost or whatever, but that is a doorway that was already here that goes into another part um, that uh, actually the gentleman I rent this from, um, he has stuff in there. So. Yeah, this is it. It's just kind of an open space. As you can see, it's nothing fancy at all. I'm gonna be doing uh, you know, a lot of woodworking in here, but before I get to the woodworking part, I do have a lot to get done. And if you want me to, I'll share some videos of the progress. Um, I might even drop some of what they call the YouTube shorts, which is just like a, a one minute video here and there, just to kind of tell you where we're at. Uh, it's cold in here as well. Like I said, uh, the, it's, it's in the 20s. I don't think it's quite 30 degrees here today. It's been very, very cold though, like down into zero degree weather on, I believe it was Tuesday morning. But um, you can see that furnace that I have right here. That is the heat. I don't have it on right now, but that's the heat that we have in here. That's all of the heat right now. This isn't really an insulated space. I might try to put some insulation in the ceiling um, or in the, I guess, ceiling joists. It does have two roofs that are built over this. They added a second roof on over it, but I don't believe there's any insulation at all. I'm not sure what the temperature is in here right now, but it is pretty chilly in here. Um, but I've not had any heat on in this space now um, for several days because I've just not been in here doing anything. But I think this will work out great for me. I think having everything real close, kind of right by that dungeon door is the door that goes into my studio area. And uh, I'm just gonna make all of this area kind of a workspace um, on that wall. It's back behind me over there. I plan to have my miter saw station, um, that type of stuff in this area, kind of open area here. I wanna do my table saw and maybe a few other things like that. Got another wall where we're gonna put some more tools. And then the built on space. Let me flip the camera around here and show that to you. I apologize that I'm so dark. Like I said, I will get some lighting out here, but you can see here this room that they have added on or, or just kind of built in. They didn't add on, they just closed it in. It has some insulation in the ceiling and has a door on it, so I can close that part off. I think I'm gonna use that for my paint and finish room. I think that would probably be best for that. And it is still actually almost 500 square foot in that one room right there. So I don't know that I need the whole room for paint and finishing. If anyone has any experience making kind of like a little paint room or whatever, um, I, I'm, I'm open to your tips and suggestions on what I need to do as far as exhaust, uh, you know, to get the fumes and everything out from when I'm spraying um, or what you would recommend for heaters. I've got a couple. Um, it's oil filled radiator heaters that are coming and just with all of this weather waiting on shipment to come it's kind of been crazy but hopefully I get those soon I get some heat in here get some electric done get the painting done and I'll be ready to move some tools in but I'll show you around just a little bit more before I go like I said that is the room that they closed in and I'm just gonna paint that paneling uh, I think quite just like the rest of it but you can see it kind of has an area over there to the left. That's where I think I'm gonna put my joiner and planer and uh, probably my lumber storage. But let's go on in here to where this room is. 
and I'll let you see it. It does look like a basement. I know uh, it's not. There is a kind of a hole there, a window where they had an air conditioner at one time. Like I said, this room has some insulation up in the ceiling. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that should be fine. I'll probably leave all of that at this room where I can heat and cool it fairly well. Big workbench there that I'm probably gonna move around. My landlord is very good to me and told me just to treat this like it was mine, do with it what I wanna do with it. Let's go over here. I'll show you there's still, these were all left in here. Here's kind of the area that goes back to the back. Uh, has a back door there so yeah this was all kind of left in here and I'll probably use some of these work surfaces um, I'll shear them up a little bit but I should be able to use some of them and it'll be great for some lumber storage like I said this is a big place let me see if I can go back here and kind of show you the whole area is about a uh, about 30 foot wide and 50 foot long so yeah I can go all the way back here it does look like I need to seal up around the door because we got some snow. Some snow that blew inside here. So, yeah, I think that door needs sealed up. I'll have to work on that. But, yeah, this is like 50 foot long. And I've got the camera here back away from the wall. So, it is a big area to work with. And I'm excited about what I can do. And I know I'm dressed kind of funny, but... Um, it's what happens when you're wading snow and it's cold. So yeah, I'm open to your suggestions, your tips on kind of what I should do. I think we're just to the point now I'm going to get everything cleaned off off the walls and get some paint in here. And I don't have a sprayer, so I'm probably going to just be rolling this. I know that's not the best way, but also since we don't, uh, since it's very cold here, I can roll with some heat on as to where if I'm spraying I have to shut off the heat. So I'm excited about getting a new workplace. I'm excited about having everything together here, our photography business. We do vinyl lettering, laser engraving, all of that. And to have everything in the same place, I think that's going to be awesome. We have our website that is live now. So if you're interested, it's Malone Custom Designs. You can follow along on um, Facebook, on Instagram and uh, then you can check out malonecustomdesigns.com uh, to see some of the stuff I've been making, the cutting boards, made uh, guitar picks, um, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, be sure and check that out. And go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know, is this something that you're interested in seeing more of, of kind of the progress that we make in here? Um, if you're interested, I'll share. If you're not, then I'll wait till we're finished and I'll try to share some videos as we're making projects here, as we're doing laser projects, maybe photography projects, just kind of whatever goes on, that's kind of what I'm going to share. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, just wanted to touch base with you. Hope you all are staying safe. Hope you're staying warm. Um, prayers go out to everyone in Texas that has been without electricity and water for days. We were without water for like four days here and that was it. But um, yeah, I sure hope that everyone stays safe. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And until next time, God bless.